Let us learn some examples of linear motion graphs. The first one, displacement time graph, ST graph. This is the shape of the displacement time graph. What does it mean? How the motion looks like? Let's watch what happened to the duck. We will go part by part. The first part, the duck is moving to the right. You see? The duck is moving to the right from 0 to 10 meter. The second part, the duck stopped temporarily at 10 meter point. It stopped there. This part, horizontal part, means the duck stopped temporarily at 10 meter point. Now the third part, the duck is moving to the left, passing origin until we reach negative 10 meter. Okay? Again, the duck moving to the left, passing origin until it reach the negative 10 meter point. So this part means it passed origin and this part means it reached 10 meter behind origin. Here is, the duck is 10 meter behind origin. Just now, positive 10 meter is 10 meter in front of origin. Negative 10 meter means 10 meter behind origin. Now, the fourth part. The duck is moving to the right again until it back to origin. See, the fourth part. The duck is moving to the right and back to origin. So this part means it back to origin. Okay? Now it's moving to the right until it back to origin. When the graph of displacement graph touches the time axis means it back to origin. Let's look the whole motion again. Moving to the right, stop temporarily, moving to the left, Passing origin, reaching the negative 10 meter, 10 meter behind origin, okay, passing origin just now, and then going to the right, back to origin. Again, moving to the right, stop temporarily, moving to the left, passing origin. Moving to the right again, back to origin. The second graph, velocity time graph, VT graph. This VT graph has the same shape with the displacement time graph just now, but completely different meaning. So let us observe the duck once again. The duck moving to the right with acceleration, moving with high speed, then slowing down until it stops. Ah. So this part means velocity back to zero. Velocity back to zero means the duck stop for a while. The second part here is not stop. Yeah, the duck is moving at high speed at this moment. You see again. Yeah, watch again. The duck accelerating to the right, moving at high speed, and slowing down until it stops. So the real stopping point is over here. Okay? Now here is moving at high speed. The speed at the second part is 10 meters per second. It is at high speed. Here, First part, the speed increase from 0 to 10, accelerating. And then the second part, moving at high speed with constant velocity. And the third part is velocity decreases until it becomes 0 again. It stops over here. Okay? And then, when the graph is above the x-axis, means velocity positive. Velocity positive means all this while, the duck is moving to the right. The duck is moving to the right. And how much it moves to the right is shown by the area under velocity time graph. 
The area under velocity time graph is the displacement. The duck has moved 100 meter to the right. The area is 100 meter. So that when the area is above the x-axis means it is positive displacement. Yeah, displacement to the right. Positive 100 meter. Now the fourth part. The duck accelerate to the left. Yeah, become faster and faster. And then slowing down until it stop again. You see that? It stop again over here. Here it stop again because velocity becomes zero again. Let's look again. It become faster and faster because velocity increase from zero to negative ten. But it negative velocity meaning it's moving to the left now. Yeah, it's moving to the left. But uh, it velocity increase from zero to negative ten. Velocity increase become faster and faster. And then slowing down, slowing down because the velocity decrease from negative ten to zero. The velocity becomes zero again. Now it stop over here again. Okay. And the graph below, when the graph below the x-axis means it's moving to the left because velocity negative. It's moving to the left, velocity negative. So how much it moved to the left? Uh, it shows by the area under the graph. So the how much it moved to the left is S2 with only negative 30 meter. So it seems like S1, it moved to the right 100 meter. Yeah, it's more than it moved to the left because S2 has a smaller area. S1 big area, it moved to the right more than it moved to the left. It moved to the right 100 meter, but it moved to the left with only 30 meter. So, is the duck back to origin? All this while, after the whole journey, is the duck back to origin? Ah, the total displacement is S1 plus S2, which is 100 meter plus negative 30 meter. We get positive 70 meter. So, total displacement equal to positive 70 meter means that the duck stop at 70 meter in front of origin. It doesn't go back to origin. Okay? It doesn't go back to origin. It stop at 70 meter. Positive, positive 70 meter. Positive means in front of origin. 70 meter in front of origin. Okay? So when the area above the graph is more than area below the graph, means it doesn't go back to origin. Okay? It moves to the right more than it moves to the left. The area under the graph shows how much displacement. Okay? The area under the velocity time graph is the displacement. So, so it moves to the right more than it moves to the left. Okay. So when the graph of velocity when when the graph is above the x-axis means it has positive velocity moving to the right. When the graph is below the x-axis means velocity negative. Let us look. Once again, the whole journey of the duck. The duck accelerate to the right, move at constant velocity, high velocity, and then slowing down until it stop. Okay, all this while move to the right. Okay, now accelerate to the left. Yeah, become faster and faster, and then slowing down again until it stop at the second time. So the area to the right, area going to area above is more than area below, meaning that it moves to the right more than it moves to the left. So it stops in front of origin at 70 meter point. Okay, so that's all for our lecture today. I hope you enjoy and um Hope you hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos to come. Okay? Please like and subscribe and thank you for watching.
Bye.